this GE90 made to its minutes, I'd like to point out a few key uh, important items when removing and reinstalling the lube and scavenge unit. Uh, we're not going to cover every single step from the AMM. The procedure's written very well. It's easy to follow. But there are some techniques and precautions that we need to look at along the way. Okay, uh, we've uh, disconnected everything from the pump for the AMM. We're now going to release the clamp, securing it to the gearbox. And for the lube and scavenge pump, remember that there is no lift fixture. This is a, a hand operation. Now, the pump's about 30 pounds, 30, 33 pounds, something like that. So it's not the end of the world, but you do have to be very careful. You don't want to, uh, to drop it or let the weight of the pump rest on the drive shaft or anything like that. So with the clamp removed, Mike can now gently pull the lube and scavenge pump forward and then navigate it through. There's a couple of electrical harnesses in the vicinity. And there we go. Before installing or reinstalling the lube and scavenge pump, we are going to need to replace this packing on the pump housing. Uh, the lube and scavenge pump does not use a packing on the drive shaft, so we only have one to worry about. And we want to lubricate that as usual with a little bit of engine oil. Get a nice uniform coat. I'm going to use my discarded O-ring material. You've probably seen that in other videos. And I'm going to guide that packing into the groove with my discarded O-ring material. And I'm going to make a couple revolutions around it. Uh, just to make sure that I don't have any uh, twisting energy stored in that packing and make it last a lot longer. More than any other component on the accessory gearbox, the lube and scavenge pump uses a lot of these gasket seals uh, where the four bolt flange oil tubes mate with the oil pump. These are reusable. Uh, there is an additional maintenance minute out there on YouTube uh, showing you how to uh, properly inspect these gasket seals uh, for reuse. For reinstallation of the pump, We'll carefully guide it up between electrical harnesses and tubes and things like that. Again, unfortunately, there is no lift fixture for this unit, but it's, it's not all that heavy. There we go. Get our proper alignment. Key is here. Uh, we have the, the housing of the pump engaged with that housing engaged into the, uh, the recess of the accessory gearbox. I know I can't let the weight of the pump hang on the drive shaft. That's certainly one of the things I want to avoid. Okay, some of the little details around uh, removing and installing the lube and scavenge unit. 